Hey guys, Ken with Provectus Group. Welcome back. We have something incredible for you today. We're gonna to talk to you about something new from Go Safe Mag. It's gonna solve a really huge problem. We're gonna unbox it, show you everything that's in the box. Then we're gonna hop on the website, run through the features. I'm gonna let you know if it's BS or not. And then lastly, we're gonna start playing around with it and show you how to work it. Stay tuned. This is Provectus Group. Brought to you by Right to Bear for the responsible gun owner and in part by. All right, welcome back. Here's what I'm talking about. Boom. Wonderful box here. The folks at Go Safe Mag hooked us up. Let's get that out of here. Let me put it on the table and show the people. Look at that up close. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if you notice, we've got two different types. Right now, and, and I need you guys to understand, this company is new, okay? And they're bringing something to the market that has not been brought yet. I'm very, very excited about it, if you can't tell. But there's two different types. Right here, we have the mobile safe, and then right here, we've got the mobile mag. Here's the big difference between the two. The mobile safe does not have the ability to carry ammo. So you would insert that one into your firearm, no ammo is used. The Go Safe mag allows you to still have your ammunition, still have it in the gun, but you can lock it down whenever you want. We've all seen the videos online, the news footage of somebody that has a firearm, they leave it in the car, a child or another person gets a hold to it, and then boom. Right now, a four-year-old child is in critical condition after he got hold of a gun and shot himself. Tragedy strikes, it's all over the news. It's horrible. This is actually something that can prevent that. Seriously, this could do it. Let's jump in. Which one do you want to start with, Jay? Mobile mag or the mobile safe? Let's do the mobile mag. So here we go. Mobile mag, let's unbox it. We're gonna pull this out like this. Looks like you have, this is a manual. And this is my first time unboxing this. I've had these for a couple months and I've literally not opened them. So it's a true unboxing. So yes, this is my first time doing it. Yes, instruction manual is gonna be on the top. Then you want to open up this plastic here. And then that is where you're gonna see your mobile mag. Looks just like any other magazine you've ever seen. Jay, get in here and get a close up of that. Look at that. Looks very nice. It looks very similar to what you've seen. You know, again, this goes in a Glock, so it's gonna look similar. Still have your markings on the back so you know how many rounds you have. Like it, for the most part, I mean, it kind of looks like a Glock mag a little bit, right? But up here, you can tell something else is going on here. And if I'm not mistaken, this metal piece right here is what's gonna lock down your trigger. And that's how you lock it. So let's see what happens. This is my first time doing it. They told me it was a special way to do it, but uh, you know, we don't read directions. You know? <laughs> so let me see this. I see two markings down here. Get in close on this, Jay. It looks like if you turn it here, it's safe. And if you turn it here, it's on fire. Ooh, ooh, there it goes, there it goes. So now watch this, cause I felt it in my hand. When I twisted the key, I felt this kick out. You guys ready? Show America, there it is. Watch this come out. See that? That right there, this is the, so this little thing you see right here, popping out the front, bloop, bloop. Bloop. That's what locks your trigger down. So here's what's awesome. I believe on the Go Safe Mag, when you lock this, okay, so right now it's on safe. That means that the magazine cannot be pulled out and the trigger cannot be pressed. So let's let's see. Actually. Told you I was gonna run through the features. So let's run through those features real quick. Let's bring in the iPad. Okay, 10 round capacity. Um, I do wish that it still could hold 15, but 10 is still cool. Again, this is a brand new item to the market. I've never seen anything like that. The fact that we can still carry 10 is cool. 
Next thing, prevents firing even with a round in the chamber when locked. I already explained that. You can lock it on the bottom. The mag can't come out. The trigger can't be pressed, but you can still rack the slide. Next, cannot be removed from the firearm while locked. I already talked about that. I think that's dope. Next, can switch to the OEM mag in seconds. So that's pretty nice as well, especially if you're using the other one that's the mag safe and that does not carry any rounds. Uh, next, includes unique to user high security key. <clears throat> so that was probably my number one concern when I realized you could use a key to unlock this. Number one thing is, well, how many more keys do they have just like this? You know, and, and if somebody else has a go safe mag, can they just use their key to get in mind. Now, although that's a concern, let's really be realistic about this and let's think about what's most likely to happen. What's most likely to happen is if somebody's trying to break into your car and steal your firearm or steal your gun in general, there's a really good chance they probably don't have a go safe mag and they're probably not going to have the key. So I wouldn't really worry about that. All right, next, cam lock lock included for the highest level of protection and security and quality compatible with all holsters that's a big deal a lot of times when we're adding parts to our firearm that's going to increase the safety or anything like that sometimes it's going to prevent us from using the fire or using the firearm using the holsters and stuff that we like so it's really good that we don't have to modify anything the firearm or any supporting uh, accessories as well like holsters Compatible with Glock 17, 17L, 19X, 34, and 45. Compatible with Glock 19. Additional models coming soon like Smith & Wesson and SIG. So for all my Smith & uh, Smith and Wesson and SIG guys out there, guys and gals, don't worry, it's around the corner. This one right here is for 19. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else. Let's see. I see some other stuff. Looks like there's a lanyard you could get to attach to your key. That was another thing I was thinking about. Dang, now I gotta have my key somewhere. You can have a lanyard so you can have it on you. Um, and then they've got another accessory. It looks like a go safe key holder. And uh, maybe this goes on the back of your phone or something like that, so you always have it. So enough of that. I feel like as far as the features are concerned, none of this seemed out of the ordinary or unreasonable. Um, and uh, the reviews are very good. So let's move on. Let's actually see, can it fit in a gun? I've got a Glock 19 here. This is a Gen 5 Glock 19. She is unloaded. Let's verify. One, two, three, lock it to the rear. I am going to visually and physically inspect that chamber. Let the slide go forward. Press the trigger. I hear a click and that's what we want. Okay. So what I do like about it already is that I have an aftermarket magazine well, and it still fits without a problem. So for the folks out there to have mag wells on your, on your pistols, maybe you don't have to worry about it. Definitely still look into it, but being that the locking mechanism was on the bottom and this shape is very similar to a standard magazine base pad, but it is their proprietary base pad. Um, so it does still fit. It does still seat properly. I can still lock the slide to the rear. So that's good. So we're going to let the slide go forward. We're going to take this right now. It should be on fire. Stick this in. When you push the key in, you want to make sure you push all the way in until it seats. Then we're going to turn to safe, pull it out. Now I shouldn't be able to get the mag out. If you guys see pushing the mag release. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. Okay, let's press the trigger. That trigger is hard. Like it's not budging at all. I don't know if you guys get a nice up close to that. It's not budging at all. So it locks the trigger down. There is zero play. I really like that. Let's rack the slide. It does rack the slide still. So it works as intended. Obviously, we're gonna take this to a range and do it live, but so far, so good. Now, let me unlock this thing. Remember, the raised portion of the key, I want you to think of it as your indicator and you want it to point at either fire or safe. So we know that the gun uh, or the magazine was uh, turned to safe, so let's do that. We're gonna go here. Remember, when you insert your key, 
push in all the way until it seats. We're gonna turn left to fire. Let's pull that key back out. Now, we should be able to take the mag out, which we can do, okay? We want to press the trigger. Let's see if that works now. Yes, works perfectly fine. So the other thing, when I'm looking at items like this, first thing that we wanna know is, okay, does the item work? Does it function? Does it do exactly what it's supposed to do? Does it prevent the gun from firing? Does it prevent you from getting the magazine out of the gun? Absolutely. But the other side of that is, that's great that it can do all those things, but is it going to mess up the other functions of the gun? Is it gonna prevent the firearm from firing? So that's a big thing. So me being able to sit here, still rack the slide, get on the wall, nice smooth trigger press, uh, slide does lock to the rear. Um, and I believe, and, and I want you guys to look at this, this uh, go safe mag they sent me is used. You could tell at the top that it's been fired quite a bit. Um, so it, and, and it works. So that's really good. So this was the go safe mag. Let's check out the mobile safe and look at the features on it. Cause it's gonna be a slightly, slightly different. All right, so here's the mobile safe. Now, let's look at the tops of these. This is the major difference. There's a difference in these magazines. The top looks different. Obviously it's going to prevent you from putting any ammunition inside, which is awesome. If we look at the back, there's a slight difference there. Slight difference in the mags at the top and the back, bottom looks exactly the same. So whether you buy the mobile safe or the mobile mag, everything is pretty much the same. Both of these look like they'll work in the Glock 19. We're gonna put the mobile mag down. Let's try the mobile safe. We're gonna insert it into the same Gen 5 Glock 19. The Glock 19 is still unloaded. Now I've just inserted the mag, goes in very, very nice. Everything still works. Let's see, so it's on fire. This is the key that came out of that packaging. I'm gonna insert it. Make sure you push all the way into its seats and I'm gonna turn to safe, which is the white dot. Pull it out. I should not be able to get this magazine out. Nothing. Next thing, can I press the trigger? Hard as a rock, just like the last one, just like the uh, mobile mag, dead trigger. And the trigger's not moving a millimeter, which is awesome. Now with this particular one, because it was the mobile safe, this one is supposed to prevent the slide from even moving. Nothing. And obviously you can hear that. Now, I really like that. So for like the newer, shooter, Jay, like the person who's brand new to guns, I could see a lot of people that are brand new just going with the mobile safe right out the bat because then they don't have to worry. You know, a lot of people that are new shooters, you know, things like running around with a loaded mag and, and, and stuff like that is, is nerve wracking. Hey, yo, this is awesome. I was just checking this. The key from the mobile mag does not work with the mobile safe. That was good, I thought I was gonna get him. <laughs> thought I had you go safe, my bad. I just unlocked the mobile safe. You see it came out, everything is still functioning as it should. And that's what matters. Like, hey, if the product works, that's amazing. But if it prevents what I already have from working, I don't want that. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. Now let's talk about this. Who, who's the person that would need something like this? Um, and I think these are starting around 99 bucks. You can find these online, but who needs this? Uh, honestly, I think everybody needs this. Um, and here's why. Obviously, newer shooters, brand new shooters, people, um, you know, who are newer to guns, this stuff is nerve wracking. So anything that you can do to increase your safety, anything that you can do to be a more responsible gun owner, that's absolutely amazing. That's what we always wanna go for. But then we also have to think about our finances too. When we think about a safe, you're thinking about something that's big, bulky, it costs a ton of money, thousands of dollars. And if you're someone that's new to firearms, even if you just got in a couple years ago, 
justifying that kind of purchase is ridiculous, okay? I've been in this game a long time and I still don't have one of those. But what about if you're on the go? You know, again, we talked about that scenario that we see on the news way too often where somebody leaves their firearm in the car, their child or one of your children's friends gets a hold to it and now they've shot themselves or they've shot another loved one. That's where I really, really feel that this is gonna take off. This is gonna take off in, in scenarios like that. This is gonna be perfect for the person that has a bedside gun, they don't have a safe yet, remember? Or say if you have one of the uh, smaller safes where you have to use maybe a fingerprint or type in a code and you've got that next to your bed, it's still gonna slow you down a little bit. And, and those types of safes, they're going to restrict your access. And that's really where I think the go safe vision shines just in general. You still have access to your firearm, which is everything, um, but it's still safe. You're getting the best of both worlds where before it was either safe and zero access or all the access and it wasn't safe at all. Uh, and I can tell you, at, you know, from my experience in law enforcement, even all the way up to a, being a chief of police, that was, it, when we're talking about incidents that happen with firearms and negligent discharges, that's one of the worst calls that you can ever go to as a first responder. And it's definitely something that's preventable. So I think everybody needs to look at these. Um, stay tuned though, because we're gonna be doing more specific videos on these two uh, magazines uh, in particular. And we're gonna also bring some videos to the market showing you how to practice with these so you can get good with them and you can get fast. Um, and it doesn't matter what scenario you're in, whether you're at home, you're in the car or whatever. Uh, but yes, should you look at these? I think that you should. Uh, big shout out to Go Safe for sending us these and sponsoring this video and, and, and coming out with something that's innovative and actually going to be wonderful for the 2A community, especially when it comes down to being safe. That is always the most important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more information on these magazines from Go Safe, remember they got one that can hold ammo and still lock it down, and one where you don't need ammo at all and you can still lock things down, I want you to use that link below. That link below helps us and it allows us to bring free content to you. Guys, we love you. Peace. Hey guys, Kenwood Prevectus Group, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that link below. That's where all the incredible stuff is. Like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out on social media. Love you. Peace.